Okay, so this is the part two on how to solve these frames. So as you can see, no, na isolve na natin from part one ng ating d sub y, and then also our d sub x, the b sub x, and the b sub y. So next thing we're gonna do is to change the uh, directions. No, pag nag uh, solve na tayo to this diagram, yun naka incline na uniform loading. Okay, so copy paste ko lang to. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, copy. And then, um, paste. Alright. So, next is our V sub Y. No, dun sa ating BCD diagram is going up. Okay, so dapat contradict yung nandito. So, therefore, uh, our B sub Y here is going down. Okay, our B sub X sa ating BC diagram is going to the right. So, therefore, this one is going to the left. Okay? Next is, we have... This load, okay, this is 10 kilo newton. Okay, and then this triangle is 3, 4, 5. Okay, so summation forces x, okay, is equal to 0, going right is positive. We have negative a sub x, negative b sub x, and the x component of 10 kilonewton. Okay? So that is kung lalagyan ko to ng imaginary axis and this one is our theta. So the x component will act on this one. So that is what? Positive 10 kilonewton sine theta is equal to 0. Ax ang hinahanap. So, transpose natin to other side of the equation. Ax is equal to Bx, which is 20 kN over 3. Negative plus 10 kN. And then, your sine theta is... Okay? So, that is your... 4 over 5. Okay. So this is 4 over 5. So A sub X is equal to alright, the negative 20 over 3 plus that is 40 over 5. That is 1.333 or 4 thirds kilo newton. Okay. okay, with correct assumption. Next is, summation forces y is equal to 0. Going up is positive. We have a sub y, positive, minus b sub y. And then the y component of the 10 kN, that is cosine. So that is negative cosine theta 10 kN is equal to 0. However, no, your cosine theta is 3 over 5. Okay? So, A sub y, no? So, transpose na lang natin itong mga negative signs. So, A sub y is equal to B sub y, which is 5 over 9. Plus, that is 10 times 3, that is 30 over 5. So, that is 6.5556. Correct? Okay. So, 59 over 9 kilonewton. Positive. Okay. 